I was led to a message from the book, A Call to Trust, that I wrote that I want to share with you today, and also a reading from the diary of St. Faustina. And I pray it give you some direction and enlightenment as well. This was given to me in 1998, meant for today, our time. My tired people, Jesus says, my tired people. Don't you feel so tired sometimes? From everything, from the battle, my tired people. Jesus is going right to your heart. In the world today, there exist many formidable giants. There exists many formidable giants. Many more are yet to come. Like my beloved David was, you are now engaged in battle. Can you feel it? Yes. You are now engaged in battle. There is widespread anxiety, fear, and despair. Deception and treachery are common. Even among those who claim to be my followers, Because you decide to be self-reliant, you continue to get entangled in the web of sin. I can do it myself. I don't need anybody. I'm in control. Because you decide to be self-reliant, you continue to get entangled in the web of sin. Instead, trust in me. Do not walk by your eyesight or trust in what you see because surely you will be led astray. It's past that time, friends. He's saying, close these eyes, open the eye of the soul where the tabernacle, where Christ exists, is. Do not be fooled into thinking that there is no way to conquer these battles. Do not be fooled into thinking there is no way to conquer these battles of today. Do not be numbered among the arrows of deception of Satan. I'm sorry. Do not be numbed by the arrows of the deception of Satan. Numbed, indifference, relative, it's all in the same bowl of soup. Instead, be strengthened by the sacraments which I have given you. Be strengthened by the sacraments which I have given you. At the holy time of Mass, when the veil of heaven is removed and Jesus Christ becomes present to us in the most profound way, and we receive him in such a way, we receive every holy, good, and godly thing that our God would come down from heaven to give us. Living proof. God with us. Impossible made possible. Don't believe? Believe. You can bet your life on it. Jesus says, come to me again and again. Start over again and again if you need to. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Be filled with my spirit. What happens when we are filled with the spirit who is our God? We are but an eggshell 
and everything inside of that eggshell is God. And it's beautiful. And it's healing. That's what this is all about. That's what his mercy is all about today. It's to heal, to make strong again, and to send out. Because there is such a great need. My peacefulness and joy will be yours then. Even in the most difficult times, trust in me. And remember what Jesus told St. Faustina. The greater the trust, the greater his mercy. The greater that we ascend to heaven with trusting in Jesus in the most impossible situations, the greater we ascend to him with trust, the greater he descends and pours out in great abundance his mercy. Arm yourself well. Follow me. For I am the only way. Be unburdened of those things that keep you away. Let go. Let go. Stop thinking that you're not good enough or that you don't have enough or maybe that you're too good. I don't know. Let go of all of it. It doesn't matter before God. He's not interested in all stuff. He doesn't need stuff. There's too much stuff. We're so stuffed. We need to be freed of stuff. And we need God to fill up the eggshell that is us. We need to be a holy people again. Not weird holy, but good holy, natural, normal, walking in his grace with kindness and mercy and smiling and helping. Be aware you must be a people of honor and of truth. Whatever happened to telling the truth? Whatever happened to that? Coming clean. I did it. I'm sorry. Go to confession. It's another veil that is drawn aside, and in that time, great healing takes place. Great, great graces. You must be a people of honor and truth, for you are mine, and I love you. You are mine, and I love you. Aren't those just the most perfect words that you want to hear? I mean, I'm not going to say imagine, because you don't have to imagine. It's real. This is real. I'm going to say, look, Jesus is saying to you, you are mine. You're mine, and I love you. What else do you need to hear? What else do you need to hear? You are mine, and I love you. So now, be a people of honor. Be truthful. Say your prayers. Go to Holy Mass as often as you possibly can in these times especially. Receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation. The two rivers, Jesus said to me, the two rivers. That's the prescription. It's you I sing, Lord, it's you.